Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's see how we can plot SQL data as fast as possible using Wayscript. The first thing we'll do is create a script. This will be SQL tutorial plot. And then we'll click create. We can do this in just a few steps using Wayscript. Our trigger needs to be an HTTP trigger. This just gives us a website endpoint that we can host our graph to and we can share it with our coworkers. We can turn this on and this will connect to a dashboard response. We can go to packages and type in dashboard response. This will be the endpoint that our HTTP trigger points to. So it will be the last step in our workflow. We'll pull something into this once we create it. Next, let's create the chart from our SQL data. We'll grab this module and drop it into our workflow. From here, we can add a database or select one that we've already added, and then we can query it using the text editor. We're able to write SQL directly into this editor. So let's type select all from daily summary, where daily summary is just the table that stores my information. Once we click on run code, we get this information and we can use it throughout our script by importing it. Let's import these two columns and we'll say that this is the date column and these are the values. Next, we can pull in the chart module to create our chart. We'll select it, import it, and drag it in. The chart type that we want is a line chart, so we'll select that. The x-axis will be our column one values. So we'll take that variable and drag it into that blank, and then we'll do the same thing with column two for the y-axis. Once we have these two values, we see that a chart should be generated here that we can pass on to this dashboard response. We'll click that dashboard response and pull that chart just like a variable into this blank. Now, once we have this, we can go back up to our HTTP trigger and click the endpoint. Once we go to that endpoint, we should have that graph publicly displayed and we can view it here. We do provide custom CSS and other features to make your graphs look even nicer if you want to use them. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll get back to you. Until next time.